All right, day two with Sean here at Kings Island. Looks like we're gonna have a really good day here. It may be very crowded because it's a Saturday on Memorial Day and the military gets here free, but that's not gonna stop us from having an amazing day here. Sean, you excited? Kingside. Very excited. Can't wait to get on Dimebag, Beast, um, Racer, Firehawk, and all the others. Can't wait to have a great day. We're about to ride Diamondback and I am very excited. This thing looks amazing. My third B&M hyper coaster and I just, I, I can't believe it. Yeah, getting ready to ride a, a rattlesnake. It's wild. We just rode Diamondback for the first time today. It was really awesome. We rode in the front and the back. Both times it was really awesome. I'm currently rated at 4.75. It's a really good ride. How about you? Yeah, you know, I rate the same as you. I, I really liked it. I think it's between Intimidator and this, I like this better because as the splash down, it's more intense. I, I, I enjoyed it so much. Great roller coaster. Yeah. So me and Logan just rode the Backlot Stunt Coaster. It was really, really fun. I really enjoyed it, and I'm, it's the same thing as the one at King's Dominion. I'd probably just rate it a three. I'd probably rate it a three, too. It isn't the best, but it is pretty fun. We just met a coaster king hey, man here. His name is Alex, so how about you tell us about yourself? My name is Alex. I'm eight. I'm in the third grade. And I'm about to ride the beach. Dude, Logan, you weren't riding the beast when you were eight. You're pretty brave, kid. So me and Logan are about to ride the beast, and this is going to be my 61st coaster credit, and I'm very excited to ride this. This looks amazing. Legendary. Longest wind roller coaster in the world. Yeah. We just rode the beast in the front row. That was awesome. And although in the tunnel, I almost got hit by a what if it was a bird or a bat or something. I don't know. It scared me. Yeah, it scared the crap out of me. But apart from that, the ride was really awesome. It was just really intense. And it just comes to show the beast is the beast of all coasters. I really love it. How about you? Yeah, I agree with him. The beast was awesome like when you're riding that you forget that you're in a really big park i love that thing you know i i think i might like that better than el toro really Ooh, Ooh that's strong words right there Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> did you rate it what, what how, oh, how five? Right, oh um i would probably rate it a five it was not as good as i remember like the launch was fun i guess but the rest of the ride was okay it's a little bit rough i rated it two and a half I, on all means, hated that. That thing was so rough. The only good part was the launch. I think the one at King's Dominion is better, so I'd rate that a negative 55. Whoa, that's pretty bad. That's what you get for getting in a spaghetti bowl. <laughs> this is what happens when you go in a UFO. Don't go in one. All right, that you guys one. go hit Firehawk. Yeah. That launch is the only good part about it. Firehawk and I really liked that actually. That was better than Nighthawk. It was very smooth. It was awesome. What do you rate I, oh, I rate it um a three. I rate it a three and a half. It's pretty intense and really fun. We just yeah. met a cool Coaster Kids fan here. So how about you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm from Illinois. My home park is Six Flags Great America. Um, I love Coaster Kids because I just think it's so great how inspira inspirational Logan is to other kids. Just telling them always to be brave. And, yeah, I've ridden Banshee. I thought it was great. Awesome. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We just rode the racer and it was really fun. And we were actually racing this time, so it made it a lot more fun. It was pretty intense too. I rated a three and a half. And we met some cool Coach Kids fans, so how about you tell us about yourselves? Hi, I'm Evan. I'm from uh, West Virginia. And something I like about the Coast Kids is how they rate the rides from one to five. And I can tell my other friends about it and be like, hey, you might like it. Awesome. And what'd you rate Racer? Uh, I'd rate it a four. Uh, Logan actually showed me a better seat to sit in, so I'm going to be sitting in the back now. Very cool. Kobe? My name is Kobe. And what I like about Coast Kids is the screen scale. All right. What do you rate Racer? I'd rate it a 4.5. Ooh, pretty high, all right. So this is pretty much not the really the first time I've ridden something like this. I've done Rebel Yell, I've done Thunder Road, and you know, Racer was, was a little rough, but really fun at the same time. I'd probably do about a three. It's pretty cool. All right. We just met a Kosher Kids fan right here, so tell us about yourself. Uh, my name's Drew, I'm from Indiana, and what I like about the Kosher Kids is that they rate the rides and they show nice footage of the parks. We just rode Adventure Express, and I haven't read this in almost three years, but that was so much better than I remember. It was kind of smooth, I guess, but it was just kind of tame, but it was pretty fun to ride, though. I probably ran it a three. Um, well, this was my fourth mine train, I gotta say. I actually thought that was really fun. My favorite part was, like, the tunnel, the theming, and it, it, overall, it was just really cool. I'd probably rate it a... Three for fun and uh, for intensity, probably a one. And my mom just rode it too. I rode this one, it was just my speed. It's my first ride here at Kings Island. I don't usually ride the coasters, but it was very smooth. It was curvy, not a lot of drops. I liked it, I'm gonna rate it a four. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're choking on it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is actually my favorite mine car ride. I would have to give it a three and a half just because of how jerky it is and I don't really like jerky that much on some rides. I would rate it a 2.5. Alright. Just having fun? Yeah! We just ran into two very excited fans, <laughs> uh, Kayla and Kirsten. So how about you tell us about yourselves? Um, I'm Kayla. Um, I'm from Springfield and I'm 15 and I love Coaster Kids because of how energetic he is. Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm from Dayton, and I love Coaster Kids because they made me get over my fear of roller coasters. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. You too. You too. I'm literally shaking so hard. <laughs> Yeah, no. The camera was the 
coaster, which started my YouTube channel, started my love for coasters, and started me getting more confident. And it was still pretty fun. I actually enjoyed it. I probably rate this a three. I actually think it's pretty fun still. Yeah. This one, I actually really like this one, surprisingly. This is better than the one at Carowinds, and I actually think I'd rate this one a two. It's, it's, it's more for kids, but it's, it was still pretty good. All the other kitty coasters were really cool, too, but Woodstock Express was not good. She does, but you got the credits on all three, right? Yep, and let me tell you, if I never wrote this, I don't know if I'd even be talking to you guys right now, so it's just amazing how far we come. All right, we're here on the Eiffel Tower right now, and we're getting to wrap up this shantastic video. And we just had a shantastic day here at King's Island, here with Sean. It's been really great hanging with him, showing him around, and having him ride some of the rides here. It was really fun hanging with you. What did you think of today? Well, I actually really, really had fun today and last night. I thought Kings Island was an amazing park. I've been wanting to go here since I was like, I would say, 11 years old, I would say. This park was really, really fun. I like it better than Kings Dominion. Sorry to any Kings Dominion fanboys out there, but I like this one better. I thought Diamondback was amazing. Banshee, those were all amazing rides. And my coaster count right now is currently at 69 and about to be at 70 when I go ride Vortex. And overall, I just had a great time today. I, and tomorrow, I'll be heading to Cedar Point and then Hershey Park in a couple months. And it's great hanging out with you today. You too. Yeah. So we'll catch you guys later. And as always, Sean, want to take this one? Oh, be brave and ride on. See ya.